What's up, everybody? We back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Justin. All right, man, we got Justin's stats pulled up. So Justin is an ISO-based point guard who specializes in mid-range, steals, and three-point. Really good inside those areas, man. He's also pretty decent when it comes down to passing the ball. So first stat, we're looking at his three-point shot with 66 at base. That is a spectacular three-point shot, man. It's really close to what David has at base. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. He doesn't have that jump-stop shot giving him 23% extra accuracy, though, man. But he does have another accuracy boost inside of his kit, which we will talk about when we get to the abilities. So mid-range shot is 66. 67 at base that is a ridiculously high amount of mid-range shot to pair with that 66 three-point shot so the 67 mid-range definitely going to come in handy man you want to make sure if you're wide open inside the mid-range area you go ahead and take those shots especially after a faint dribble which we will also talk about when we get to the abilities man so close shot with 47 at base that's actually a decent close shot stat it's a lot better than a lot of the characters inside this game but i still don't recommend going for those layups unless you absolutely have to dunk with 31 at base you're probably going to see some opportunities opportunities to go inside the paint man because people tend to guard justin's a little bit further back because they expect all those dribble moves so if they end up getting a little bit too close you hit them with a dribble move you may be able to run past them but the probability of that dunk popping back out is much higher than that of someone like a center or a small forward so make sure y'all keep that in mind man just because you have the opportunity to dunk doesn't mean you should go up there and do it right so still with 64 at base that is a spectacular steal stat man so he's really close to someone like nico when it comes down to stealing the ball but he doesn't have that extra 20% chance that Nico has on the quick steal. So make sure y'all keep that in mind as well. You don't want to uh, be spamming your steal animation with this man, especially if you're guarding someone that has a lot of disturbance resistance. So next up, we're looking at dribble with 58 at base. It's actually decent uh, for us. Uh, what's it called, man? For a point guard. So you want to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to as a point guard. You want to make sure that you're the main one with the ball in your hand. And you got to try to make it, uh, try your best to get wide open if you want to get assists with this man. So next, we're looking at pass with 51 at base. That's really far away from someone like Nana. That's also really far away from someone like White and even Big O. So he's not really that big of an accuracy boost when he passes the ball. But his uh, ability at level four shot pass will definitely give you a bunch of extra accuracy. And we'll talk about that when we get there. His speed is 65 at base that's uh, i think it's maybe nine less than someone like nana i could be wrong man because i believe nana has like 74 but that's still a really good speed stat not sure how much it gets from his sales man but i'm pretty sure i had that on the screen for y'all when we first started talking about the stats so this entire bottom section is trash jump at 20 rebound at 24 block at 35 and power at 22 do not be afraid to dunk on this man he will not be able to stop you and also he's gonna have to guard you extremely close because of that very low block stat Plus, paired up with the fact that he's a point guard, it's going to be very difficult for him to block your shots if he is not close enough to you. Let's jump to the abilities. All right, man, we got Justin's abilities pulled up. First ability we'll be looking at is proactive intercept. So let's read it. Proactively intercepts the ball when the opponent is passing. At level two, you get plus uh, 0.1 meter to your interception range. And at level three, you get the same thing for a total of 0.2 meters. You want to make sure you're maxing this out, man, because it is very difficult to actually steal those when they're being passed. And um, he doesn't have a level four like someone like Nico to get an extra 0.2 meters. So you want to make sure you're practicing your timing with this. Uh, I figured that, um, well, I figured out that the best time for you to actually use this is when you're anticipating that they're passing the ball because when your hand is actually swiping, you want your hand to actually touch the ball. If you want to make sure you get a perfect intercept. Now, sometimes if you're a little bit too early or a little bit too late with that intercept, it's going to just tip the ball. You can just dive on top of that, man. Get a free and easy FLR. So now. Next, we're looking at uh, turn back shoot. I do not actually recommend unlocking this ability. As you can see, man, it's saying required rating S. I don't even have this at level one. I didn't even unlock it, man. It's mostly a waste of energy gel because it's way too easy to activate by accident. Like, for example, man, you're going to the three-point line because you just broke your defender's ankles. The center the center coming out there from your uh, other center of power forward. So you think to yourself, like, okay, I'm going to do a shot pass. You end up accidentally doing a turn back shoot, end up getting blocked, and you feel really bad about it because it was an accident. Accident, but no one actually knows that right so i don't recommend unlocking this ability the accuracy decrease not actually worth it the 10 percent disturbance resistance will definitely come in handy but if a person has bad defense they're going to be accidentally blocking this every single time so make sure y'all keep that in mind man don't unlock this unless you feel like it's something that you could use to psychologically destroy your opponent 
So next, we're looking at this uh, second level four. This is the one that he got second. I think it was a couple months ago. So let's read it. You can trick the defender into blocking and pass the ball to your teammate when shooting. At level two, it's going to decrease the probability of being intercepted by 5%. And at level three, you're going to give your uh, ball receiver 5% extra accuracy. And at level four, you're going to give them a, an additional 15% extra accuracy for a total of 20% extra accuracy. This pairs really well with someone like David because his wide open jump stop shots are going to be getting 20% three percent extra accuracy that's a total of 43 and if you did it off of a flash dribble it's a total of 48 percent extra accuracy inside the mid-range area going to be very difficult to miss a shot like that so make sure y'all keep that in mind also pairs really well with flash shot users like greta and camille because they have enhanced mid shot that gives them five percent disturbance resistance and um the flash shot is going to be giving them 2% more for a total of 7%. That's really close to what David is getting. So um, I think David's getting like 8% because the level 2 and the level 3 are kind of confusing, man. So... 20% uh, extra accuracy, 7% disturbance resistance on a flash shot. Very difficult to miss something like that, man. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. All right, last and certainly not least, the level four ability he was released with. We're looking at faint dribble. Let's read it. Returns to original position after a short distance dribble move. So halfway through the dribble move, he's going to jerk back. And if they're following you because they think you're doing a regular dribble move, they're going to get their ankle snatched and you're going to get 10% extra accuracy. So level two, increase speed effect dribble move by 10. At level three, increase mid-range scoring by 3% after the fake dribble move. And at level four, after the opponent's ankles are broken, shooting accuracy within 18 seconds seconds will be increased by 10 percent that is an enormous amount of extra accuracy man it's gonna really force people to come out there and pick you up because they really don't have a choice because that 10 percent extra accuracy really hard to miss a shot after something like that so you want to make sure you're going for ankle breakers but you don't want to you also want to make sure you aren't going for an ankle breaker every single time because those people will be trying to get those um dribble move stops on you and sometimes you just want to go in the opposite direction with your regular dribble move after a faint dribble so make sure y'all keep that in mind man we're gonna jump into street legend we're gonna show y'all all of these abilities man i'm not sure how far i made it inside of there i'm pretty sure i beat it already but we'll see when we get there all right man we got street legend pulled up we got our man justin in here so first ability we're gonna be looking at a shot pass so we're going to go ahead and break our ankles, man, just for free. So shot pass, while you're in the middle of the shooting animation, you're going to press your steal button. Now, you want to make sure you're pressing it soon enough to actually pass the ball. Um, sometimes uh, I end up waiting a little bit too late, and I end up firing that shot off. And uh, two of your teammates are setting screens. Don't try to do a shot pass, man, because you're going to end up getting blocked, especially if the defender knows that you cannot pass the ball while both of your teammates are setting the screen. It happens more often than you think when you're using someone like Justin, man. So did they just score on me or did we just score on them? They just scored on me, man. That's ridiculous. I wasn't even paying attention to the screen. All right, so next ability, we're going to be looking at faint dribble, man. So as you can see, halfway through the animation, he's going to jerk back. So if they're following you, you're definitely going to go ahead and snap their ankles in half with this man. Now, some of the best uses I've seen personally <laughs> using this character myself is... um. When a person is to your side trying to get a dribble move stop on you on your regular dribble moves, you're gonna you want to go into a faint dribble into their direction. They're gonna try to go to your side and stop that. And nine times out of ten, you will snatch their ankles, man. So how do you put them in a position to actually be on your side? What I like to do is uh, a couple dribble moves between the legs is going to start to make them really anxious. Some people even come up there and try to go for the steal. When they come up here and try to go for the steal, I do my regular dribble move to the side, man, because when you're using Justin or even Camille, people are expecting you to initiate your dribble move sequence with the faint dribble. So what do you do to counter that? You basically simply just don't use faint dribble first start off with a regular dribble move nine times out of ten they're just going to be standing there waiting for you to jerk back but you're not going to jerk back you're going to go far enough to the side to actually get a wide open shot off so make sure y'all keep that in mind also stop doing uh faint dribbles and then going the same way with your faint dribble man you want to do a faint dribble sometimes go in the opposite direction because most people don't expect you to go in the opposite direction now for those people that will stand right there in front of you and wait for all your dribble move animations to end because they're expecting dribble moves you can just do a faint dribble and then pull up in their faces they will not be able to stop you so um what was that last ability man we looked at the faint dribble we looked at the shot pass 
We did not look at the proactive intercept. It's going to be very difficult to actually get one of those off inside of here, man. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Make sure y'all keep in mind, he is really good when it comes down to tricking his defenders into thinking he's going to do something and then turning around and doing something completely different. That's this man's entire play style. You got to make sure you're switching it up effectively. Sometimes you want to go for the shot. Sometimes you want to go for the shot pass. Sometimes you want to start your dribble move sequence off with faint dribble. Sometimes you want to start it off with a regular dribble. And, um... Make sure that you're not going for ankle breakers every single time, man, because if someone's to your side, just go in the opposite direction with a dribble move, man. They will not be able to stop you from getting that wide open shot off, and you'll get free points. That's it. Now catch y'all on the next one.